If you don't clean up your backgrounds in your videos, it's gonna become distracting to your audience. I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to clean up the background in five minutes. By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to turn this into this. So the first thing you're gonna do when you have this frame here is you're gonna go straight over to the export frame icon here. It should be in your window panel. If you don't have it, just open up the tools and it should be right here in the button editor. Click that export frame and you're gonna to wanna to save it as a PNG right to the desktop. Click that right into Photoshop, open up Photoshop. It's really up to you on, on what you want to remove in your shot. You know, if certain things look like they should be gone, like they're gonna distract somebody from watching your video, then you're gonna to wanna to choose those things. You're gonna come over to here to the rectangular marquee tool just hold option in case you don't see it and uh, just click through until you see this rectangular marquee tool. You're going to drag this right over this gutter piece here. Just click generative fill after that and you don't, I don't usually type in anything in this because it'll just give me a few variations over here. So now we have it. Uh, basically just like that our gutter is gone and you can barely even tell that it was there at once. So I'm going to do this with a few more of these things here and I'll just speed this up for you guys. So we got the whole wall here ready to go. Um, then you're just gonna come up to file. You're gonna go ahead and export, quick export as PNG. All right, so let's take this clean plate, drag it right into Premiere. Pretty much all the stuff is gone here. So we're gonna take this clean plate and we're gonna change it completely around, making it part of our background. So the first thing you wanna do is go straight over here and you're gonna wanna take this and kind of find how blurry this is. See how that background is a little bit more blurry than our clean plate here? The background here is a little bit more blurry. So we're gonna to wanna to maintain that. So come up here to effects. And if you don't see effects, go to window, effects, and then it should show up. Go straight to that, search Gaussian blur, and then just put that right on there. Add this value over here until it starts to look like our other regular background. So maybe 30. All right, so now we got the blurred clean plate. Now I know what you're thinking. We're gonna to have to mask out this entire shot frame by frame. That's where After Effects comes in handy. If you've never been in After Effects before, very simple, just follow along with me. All right, so ideally before you do any of this, you'd wanna have your clips ready to go and all your cuts ready, but for the sake of this video, I haven't done this yet. So let's grab a talking scene, uh, click C, to cut this out real quick. You're just gonna take these two clips right here and then uh, right click or control click on that and come up to replace with After Effects composition. So you're gonna have your clean plate and your pre-recorded clip already. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna do this really quick and it's not as hard as you think. So have these two clips here. This is gonna be clip one, clip two. This is exactly what you were working with right in Premiere. Click on the bottom clip, drag it above the top. So what you're gonna do after that is super simple. Come up to the top and you should see Roto Brush Tool. Go ahead and select that and then double click on your first layer here. And then you're gonna wanna click and drag and just kind of draw a line around, you know, your face and try to draw it as clean as possible. Um, so you have that and just come over here. So After Effects is pretty much gonna choose what you want in the frame and what you don't want. And you can kind of zoom in here and tune up the edges a little bit. If you go overboard, just hold option. This uh, tool has come in handy so many times. If you can clean your hair up beforehand, I'd recommend that just because sometimes rotoscoping doesn't really do the best with hair. So. so we have a rough cut of our subject here. Every time you scroll around, it's gonna say propagating, roto brush propagating some frames here. You're gonna kinda wanna scroll around and see what's going on here. So come over here to freeze. And you're gonna wanna click that right there. If it's a longer video, you know, five minutes long, 10 minutes long, this is gonna take some time. So if you're doing this for short form content, this isn't gonna take any time at all. It's gonna be super quick. Exactly how you see it here, this purple line, we're gonna have me in frame here and the background is gonna be gone. What we just did is basically a faster way to mask out everything. So now here we go. If this is for short form content, you could really put anything on the wall. Like just to give you an example, I could duplicate this layer, slide it over, now I got two of me doing the same thing. Save that real quick and then just slide right over to Premiere and you're gonna have that scene right there ready to go. This background is distracting. You move along here, not distracting at all. Nice and smooth. Just like that, you're finished up. So now when you make your videos, everybody's gonna be focused right on you and not on this. Just by doing that.